Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are here at the uh, soybean field. And uh, we're going to start doing some raking here. So we can uh, prep to get this stuff bailed up. And uh, see what we can make happen here. Hopefully we can make a good amount of bales, make a good uh, chunk of money, especially. So today we'll rake bean stubble, and tomorrow we'll do the corn, and then uh, we'll have a day of baling on each. And then we'll uh, haul them in. So just to kind of spread things out a little, keep a variety, even though both of the raking videos are of just raking, but you guys, uh, I'm sure, get what I mean. This rake is definitely right on the edge of uh, being able to pick up two windrows. Do another pass around it here. Yeah, it's a good thing that uh, this rake is not any narrower, or that our header is any wider. Or we would uh, we would be in trouble right now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to rake up to this windrow. We'll pick up and we're going to spin around here. Corn stalks will definitely be interesting to uh, rake. There's some monstrous windrows. That is for sure. Goodness. Hopefully we don't plug the baler up.
right. There's end rows done. This will definitely help uh, with bailing, though. We won't have so many windrows to go over. definitely help uh, reduce the amount of passes that we have to make with the baler but I have a feeling uh, our clutch leg is gonna get very very wore out bailing all this stuff Definitely, they definitely are some big windrows. This is going to be a lot of fun to bail. <laughs> so now, if we weren't in America, we'd just uh, go get a forage wagon and pick it up that way but I like to stick to my bailing we are gonna miss some bits here and there but I think we have enough straw laying around that uh, it won't be that big of a deal whoops sit down just a little too soon there oh well We'll get it all bailed up anyways, one way or another. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling sorry for this baler for what we're about to put it through. Goodness. But we've almost got this field wrapped up already, which is good.
We got uh, two more passes left and we'll be out of this field. Might even be able to get all of the uh, soybean straw raking uh, done in one episode, which would be pretty good actually. I do really like this rake though, it is kind of one of my favorites. I have always uh, enjoyed using this one. The Vermeer DLC was definitely, in my opinion, worth the money. Perfect. Let's get over to the next field then. I think we're going to do this field just a little bit differently here. The way I probably should have done the other field. We're going to do our end rows last. Usually that's the way that you would do things. Makes it a little bit cleaner and a little easier in the end. and a bunch there but again is what it is not too terribly worried about that I think we're going to have quite a bit of straw on our hands anyways so We missed a whole strip there, combining. Well, that's uh, embarrassing.
Well, in this one, we're going to have one small windrow left, I think. Yep, we are going to have one windrow left unraked, but that's all right. I might have picked that up a little soon. That's okay. We'll get our end rows raked up and we'll uh, get up out of here. Uh, dog leg is going to make that second pass uh, interesting. I think we'll uh, manage it all right. Let's not catch our bag and rip that open. That would be. That would not be fun. That would suck. Okay, there's our first pass done. We'll get the second one done here. And we'll have uh, this field wrapped up too, which works out great. Yeah, I definitely picked up way too soon on that pass there. That's all right, though. And we're just going to rake up to the end here on this one, and then... All that good. And 
not going to bother raking all of this up here on this windrow. Dealt pretty good. we have it and that'll wrap up raking soybeans perfect well folks I think that's going to do it for today then, and uh, tomorrow we'll be raking up corn stalks. So thank you everybody for uh, tuning in today, and uh, hope to catch you in the next one.